Hey everybody, in this video we're going to continue our little platformer tutorial series. In the last video we took our person and we had them moving in the left and right direction uh, with just a tiny bit of code there. That was pretty good. In this video we're going to talk about getting the gravity going. And so what we want to see is we want to see our player walking off the edge and falling down, hitting the ground, sticking perfectly, jumping up, hitting their head, falling down, double jumping, etc, etc. So here we go on the Y direction. So I got my player. The X direction was pretty easy because every step, I'm assuming that they're either going to be going 7 pixels left, 7 pixels right, or just not going left or right at all. And so the thing is, we didn't have to really remember anything. We just did stuff when they hit the keys. Gravity's a little different. If the player's falling, I have to be able to remember what speed they're falling right between every step and then every step they got to pick up speed as they fall because that's what gravity does to you so what I need to do here is I need to make a variable or two for the player so let's go to the create event and let's give a variable two to remember uh, the speed that we're falling so I'm gonna call this VY velocity Y and I'm gonna start it at zero the other thing I'm gonna add here is I'm gonna add a variable called gravity and you can put it to 0.5 for now. I just know 0.5 will work well when we get to use it. And I put it in capitals just to indicate I'm never going to change this variable with my code. Gravity's gravity. It's 0.5. It's sort of like a constant. So let's go here. I got that variable vy. What are we going to do with it? Well, I've set up my y direction. Here's what I want to do. The first thing that's important with this y direction, the players, is Gravity should only increase the velocity y of the player when they're not on top of a wall. And how do you know if they're not on top of a wall, right? How do you know if they're not standing? Well, the really simple check that we're going to use, and it's the same check we used with the left and right direction, is going to be that place meeting script. I'm just going to ask one pixel beneath me, is there a wall, right? Would I be touching a wall? If there is, then I know I'm standing on a wall. Okay, so that's not too bad. So let's ask that first. So let's go for it. Let's ask if place meeting at my same X, one pixel beneath me, would I be hitting a wall? Now, if the answer is yes, I'm on the ground and I do nothing. So really it's better to ask if I'm not meeting a wall. That means basically I'm standing on air one pixel beneath my position. So if that's true, then I need my Y velocity to increase. Y velocity should go up, increase by gravity. Now the Y velocity is going to be how much I move my player in the Y direction. Keep in mind, right, that as you go down the screen, your Y is getting bigger. It's the opposite of math, right? The top of the screen is a Y of 0. The bottom of the screen is like Y equals 6, 7, 800. So... When I make this Y, which started at zero in my create event, right? Remember, that's the variable I'm keeping track of how fast I'm falling. VY is zero. I'm going to add a little bit on, and that was set to 0.5. So it's going to go up a little bit. Okay, so that's that one. Now let me take this out. I don't need that there. And otherwise, I know that my VY should be zero. Now, I can take this out later, right? But I'm just going to leave it there just to make a point. If there's no wall under me, add on to my VY. Otherwise, there must be a wall under me. My VY should become zero. Okay? And I actually can take this out later, but I'll just leave it for now. So that's setting my gravity. Now, what do I do with gravity? Now I do my actual moving. So really, this code here, a good one would have been called apply gravity. This next chunk is going to be called the Y movement. Actually move my player. Let's go for it. If, and this is going to be the exact same idea that we did here in the X direction. Remember what we did. I checked if it was okay to move, and if it was, then I moved, right? So if there's no wall in my way, I can actually make the final movement and change my variable, right? My position. I'm going to do the same thing here. So if not place meeting at X, 
y plus y velocity. I might be falling. I might not be falling, but my vy definitely has a value. O wall. <clears throat> if there's no wall there, that's good. Y can increase by y velocity. Whoops. Velocity y, velocity y, velocity y, velocity y. Perfect. Okay, so that's not bad. Otherwise, well, this otherwise is going to have a bit of code force, and it's very similar. And this is why you have to watch the previous video. If you didn't understand what this little while loop here is doing, we have to do the exact same thing. I mean, I'll just leave this without <clears throat> that there right now, and let's see what happens. Now watch this. Our gravity is going to work. As soon as it detects there's not a wall underneath me, off I go. Bam. And I hit the ground. Now wait. Look at where I've landed. I'm not stuck to the ground. Oh, and then I disappear. This is weird. I'm going to reset here. Watch that again. Okay. Sometimes when I fall, I'm not perfectly on the ground. Oh, and do you see how fast I just fell? Oh, weird stuff is happening. Well, two reasons why this weird stuff is happening. Well, uh, if you want to think about it, pause the video and uh, think about why those effects are happening. Hopefully you've done that, now we can tell you. What's going on there is, first of all, when we hit the ground, I've never put my VY back to zero. You see, here it says, if I'm not hitting, add gravity, otherwise, VY is zero. The problem is, is that I'm not actually one pixel above a wall. You saw where I stopped. It was the exact same thing before with the X direction. Um, it tried to move, so let's say my Y velocity had increased up to, you know, 13. It's trying to jump 13 pixels and goes, oh, I can't go 13 pixels down. So it doesn't do the code, and the player hangs in the air. So what I have to do here is I have to have a very similar else statement. I have to do a little while loop, and I have to say while not meeting... While not meeting a wall, y goes up by 1. Okay, I want to run this little tiny while loop to basically move to the contact location. Okay, So remember, if there's no wall beneath me, good, I can fall that distance, the vy. Otherwise, I know I'm hitting a wall. So run the while loop one pixel at a time until you hit that wall. Okay, And when you do hit that wall, Okay, after that while loop ends, hey, velocity y, go to zero. Okay, and that basically stops me. So let's see here. We should see this working beautifully now. And then we'll uh, take a look at the jump code. So here comes my big drop. Oh, not too bad. Now you see a little bit of a sluggish delay there, right? I drop off and, ooh, it sort of goes slowly, right? Okay, think about why that happens, because I'm going to add that extra line here, how to fix that part. Now, the thing is what we have to do here is we have to do the exact same thing that we did with the x direction. You noticed before in the x direction, right? If I wasn't meeting a wall, I could move that distance xd. But the problem here is, if I was going to hit a wall, well, I know I'm going to hit a wall, so I can't go that full distance of xd, so run the while loop that goes one little pixel at a time. Well, I'm going to do the exact same thing here with the y direction. Okay. If I can move whatever that amount velocity y is, make that movement. Otherwise, go as far as I possibly can. So let's do a while loop. While not place meeting at x y plus y velocity o wall so i'll not meet in a wall whoops not y velocity one okay i'm assuming i'm moving down here i'm going to change that later though then y plus equals one now this little while loop will just keep going right so let's say my velocity downwards is nine and i couldn't move nine maybe uh, there's only room for five 
then this will go one, two, three, four, five. I'll be hitting a wall. Now I know I'm on the floor. Make sure to put your y velocity to zero. Okay, if you don't put your y velocity to zero, then the next step, it's gonna like try to move you again and there's no point, right? We know we've hit the ground. Our y velocity should now be zero again, right? And it won't increase from zero until this else, sorry, until this takes place, until your no walls underneath you again later on. Okay, so let's give this a go. And this should now have beautiful falling code where you hit the ground and you stick. And again, it happens so fast. You don't even notice that we're doing that little while loop in there, right? It just looks good. So here we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right, I'll just reset. And whatever direction you decide to do it in, you know, it works perfect, right? Everything's looking good. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to add the jumping and uh, jumping, hitting our head and jumping, falling down with the gravity. And basically, it's going to be complete. You'll have your moving and your up, down movements all taken care of. So uh, give us a like or subscribe, and we'll see you in the jump video.